All right, guys, so I just moved into this apartment, got everything set up, ready to rock and roll. All my tools are organized. I'm pretty excited about it. But uh, in a previous video, I showed you this cable setup right here, how we plugged into the 220 outlet on the generator. So I have a dryer over here that has 220. I'll show you how to make a conversion cable to go from like a four prong to your standard welding three prong. But uh, yeah, normally I'll be running 110 for most of the stuff that I use, but ever so often I'll need to weld something a little bit heavier. So I'll plug into 220 and uh, yeah, these things are incredibly useful. So I'm gonna show you how to make that. I think this thing was, this setup right here is like 35 bucks from Home Depot. I'll put some pictures down in the corners here in a second so you can see the prices, but uh, yeah, let's get going. Actually, before I get started, I wanted to preface the build with saying that I am not a certified electrician, nor do I claim to be. I've just built these boxes before and they've held up pretty well. Um, you know, this thing's been banged up quite a bit and it's still just fine. It's the importance of getting these wires to their right links in here to where when everything's locked down, it, it really doesn't want to move from its place. But uh, this is how everything looks out of its packaging. There's a knockout right here that I'm gonna get rid of. Um, we're gonna be getting rid of this neutral. We got a power, we got another power, and then we got the ground. So I'm gonna get that stuff set up. I just wanna say that, um, you know, there's probably 50 other different ways of doing this. This isn't the end all be all way of it. Um, if you were kind of wanting to wait, maybe you can order one of these online for a lot cheaper. So that's like 35 bucks if you go to Home Depot. It's quick, you get it, make it the same day. So um, I don't know. It, this video is just meant to be helpful in case you're in a jam and you want to make one of these really quick. You can just run up to your local uh, store and just build one real fast. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these to the right links. And so we'll I'm a little bit bummed about my time lapse. I had my tripod all set up and everything was good, but my buddy called me. Phone was on silent. The phone just stopped recording. So, uh, sorry about that. Anyway, I uh, cut the wires to the desired links, put those in there, used some marine shrink tubing to. Uh, secure the neutral so just fold it in on itself and then um, yeah heated that up and just so it doesn't touch anything I mean not that it would be the biggest deal in the world but you know it, it's just out of the way now um, so when I used to install car audio systems we had these square end terminals that we'd use to crimp the ends of this with a little box crimp and it made Installation of breeze it made things a lot nicer. Um, see how like this flathead is smashing the wire down in there I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So I'm actually gonna fix that I'm gonna go buy some of those little crimps and I'm gonna do it the right way Well, I don't know if it's necessarily the right way, but it seems like that would be the right thing to do um, Maybe some of you guys can comment down below uh, that actually know what the heck's going on, but um, Yeah, that's the setup right there um, You know, it'll work just fine. I'll do a little proof of concept here in just a minute. But um, yeah, that's that's the whole deal. So now you can plug your welders in to your dryer outlet. So let's, let's give it a try. All right, let's see if it works. If you have any comments, you know, some tips or anything like that, I'm about to start the fabrication part of this channel. Um, also bought a little pickup truck that I'm going to be working on. I'll be unveiling that pretty soon. But uh, yeah, if you have anything that you want to see me build or try out, um, let me know. This can be a learning process, so it'll be kind of cool to learn together. Um, you know, some of you more experienced folks out there that maybe watch my channel and you guys know a lot more about welding than I do. Um, it'll be nice to see you guys commenting down below as time goes on. Um, so definitely not afraid of learning things and not afraid of some constructive criticism. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.